Get ready to dive into the sun-soaked vibes of Cebu. We're about to embark on a journey filled with beachy bliss and a whole lot of good times. Cebu got it all, from city life bustle to the chill vibes of pristine shores. We will be your virtual tour guides showing you around the hidden gems and soaking up the unique energy that makes Cebu so special. Whether you're into heart pounding adventures or just craving some serious chill time by the sea, Cebu got you covered. So buckle up and join us for the ride through the streets and crystal clear waters that make Cebu a must visit. We decided to skip Cebu city after three days in Manila and went straight to Malbual. When you fly into Cebu, you will land in Mactan Island, which is connected to Cebu with a bridge. From the airport to Cebu South bus terminal, you will need to take a taxi, tricycle or the bus. We booked a grab and paid around 550 pesos for the 15 km long drive. There is a bus traveling to Malbual every 20 minutes and the bus ride takes about 3 hours. Some of the buses have aircon, but most of them don't. Make sure to take your car sick medication because it's a hell of a ride. Yay! Yay! We made it to the Philippines. Uh, we have been to Manila, so we know. Okay, well, we made it to Cebu. That was uh, quite a trip, actually. Oh my god! <laughs> and this was a bumpy ride. That was top three bumpiest ride I've ever uh, experienced in my life. But, but we we're it. here. This is our first day. We're gonna go to, or we are staying in uh, Mualbual. It's it's three <laughs> hours away from Cebu City. Mm, so today we're gonna go to Mualbual's <laughs> beaches first. Beach. White beach. Yeah, and some more beaches. And some more beaches. Yeah, but we're starting with white beach. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Currently in a village nearby the Mont Montai Palm, Montai Palm Falls. That's the name, I think. Mon Montai Palm. Montai Palm Falls is the name. We uh, wanted to have some breakfast before we go to the waterfall. It's supposed to be one of the highest in all of the Philippines. So really exciting. Uh, but first, breakfast. Simple and easy. <laughs> Simple and easy. Let's go to the waterfall. Yay! The first one in the Philippines. I have very high expectations to the waterfalls here. Because it's like you see all over social media, people are coming to the Philippines to visit the waterfalls. So here we are. Let's go. First fall is 98 meters high. That's like crazy high. Almost 100 meters. Have you seen a waterfall that high before? I don't think so. It's gonna be cool. cool.
find this one in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jumpy one. How do we rate this waterfall? Oh, sorry, I'm so distracted. Look at this little baby. She has like a big infection in her eye. Mm. That's another one. Hi. Apparently, the Philippines are the country in the world with the most stray dogs. Uh, 12 million. 12 million stray dogs only in the Philippines. They're in a pretty bad condition, many of them. A lot of them have like skin diseases and um, skin infections. So they like, uh, they bite and bite and bite. So they have big like wounds everywhere and uh, it looks terrible. But they're so sweet. They just come up to you and just, yeah, they're so happy. Yeah, there's a lot of accidents in the Philippines where humans get um, bit by dogs with rabies. So we gotta be a bit careful. But we have uh, vaccinated ourselves for rabies because we know that we're allowed to kill them. <laughs> so. Okay, but that was uh, an amazing waterfall. I think it's one of the nicest I've been to. The highest for me. Yeah, the highest too, but there, there was no one there for like there there came people now but we've had it alone for like maybe two hours or something mm. it was so high and so calm and pretty uh, you should go here it's definitely worth it yeah Okay, so this place that we are at now, uh, Hermit's Cove, was uh, not like this back in the days. So in 2021, there was a giant typhoon that swept away the whole place. So I talked to this guy and he said he had houses and like built his own property around just back here. But because of the, the typhoon, everything just got washed. So now he's just working every day to build up a new house. And it's so sad, but he was the, like the sweetest, nicest guy. He was so happy, so positive. He was like, yeah, yeah, it will be all right. Maybe next year, maybe I will finish up. Yeah, so happy. The spirit was so good. And even if like the typhoon just swapped away everything he had, he was still so happy. So I'm just so amazed by the people here. They're so, so friendly even. They don't have like nothing. Like where does he live now? He lives in, do uh, you see the shack right there? The one that's smashed? Yeah. Yeah, he lives there. Oh my God. So, so sad. Yeah, he was still so happy. I, I can't understand, but yeah. The view? Best PV view I ever had. Oh wow. The rest of our journey will consist of days like this. So we thought. Guess what? Our boy is sick again. For the hundred times since we got yeah, to Asia. Like we were going to do an execution today with a guide. Yeah, but we had to call it off because I'm sick <laughs> because you are a weak little feels like I have like a flu or something I have like a chill day today talked about having like a movie night today so if you just keep the pace slow and slow maybe we can do some more activities tomorrow I hope so we'll see and in the meantime what is happening right now what is happening? 
Jollibee, the Filipinos favorite, but it's very popular here in the Philippines. It's like fast food, um, junk food. They sell like burgers and spaghetti, hot dogs, uh, hot dogs Wings. and fried chicken. Fried chicken. But it's actually so good. We tasted it the <laughs> other day, uh, the cheeseburger. So today Herman is uh, sick again. Mm. So we've just been staying inside the apartment. So that was a good reason to order some guilty pleasure. This little jolly boy. I ordered both the spaghetti just because I feel I have to try it. <laughs> it looks so terrible on the pictures. <laughs> Is that spaghetti? That's spaghetti. Wow. <laughs> Look at that mess. That's... Every Italian is fuming right now. Like the color of the spaghetti is... <laughs> <It's> so blanche. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the burger, well. burger is very good. Yeah, I, I like the burger as well. This one look... Uh, yeah. Let me see. It looks like it's been heating up a couple of times, maybe. <laughs> and a funny thing, or maybe not funny, it's a but fun it's, fact. It's, but it's not fun. It's very sad, actually. I think, especially in Manila, how many people they order like a lot of junk food, and then they have like leftovers that restaurant throw away, um, and then people go in the trash, pick up the leftovers, and fry them again, and then sell it. And this is called peg peg. Yeah, don't, it's so... Don't order peg peg <laughs> no. if you come to the Philippines because uh, that's... It's sad. Yeah, it's very sad actually. Okay, but we see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Good morning. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit better today. So, the plan is to head out to at least one waterfall. If the if my condition says it's okay, if it's good to go, we're going to see two. So that's uh, or three or three or four. Wow! There's many on the list, baby. Ooh. I hope I will make it because I want to see all of them. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That was uh, one hell of a ride to get to the bottom of the waterfall. We uh, just parked and uh, this little guy told us that it's like a 15-20 meters walk to the waterfall. So yeah, go there now. Oh God, so cute. We're not really sure if we're walking the right way, but we're following the water. On the road again! Okay. Anticlimax. Maybe. If this, if this is the waterfall, then it's a big anticlimax. <laughs> <laughs> but I think maybe if we walk off by rock and follow the water, maybe it's a bigger one. I hope so. Okay, another one. Just as terrible as the last one. But I have a feeling that it's building up to something bigger. Another one. <laughs> Three mini waterfalls. <laughs> I think this is the... End station. I think we have to fly up the drone. Okay. Then the drone can go look for us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the most disappointing thing ever, I think. And we drove an hour for this and walked for like 20 minutes. Yay! But it was an adventure Not and adventure. they are really beautiful. And they are like three in a row. Yeah. So it was like cool to see it with the drone from, the, from above. Off to the next one. Off to the next one. Okay, so now we are on the way to the second waterfall of the day. This one is called Montpellier. We think it's down here, but there's we're, like no signs. No, no signs, <laughs> no like trail marks, nothing. No, but we're just gonna hope it's this way because there's a mark on Google Maps that says it's here. So, but apparently it's a bit difficult to get there because there are like no marked trails and so it's easy to get lost and it's about a 15 minutes walk. So we'll see. We're gonna get there somehow. Sounds like this is gonna be one hell of an adventure. Now it's the one that shows us 
<laughs> veien her, uten at vi har bedt om det. Spørs om det blir en liten uh, pengepremie i potten for uh, guiden her, muligens. I hvert fall en helt syk, syk styr. Look at this. Doesn't even look real. Wow. I think we found a waterfall. It looks huge. This waterfall is maybe one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. It's so nice, so tall, so lush, so green. And we're all alone. And all alone. It's like a dream. Yeah. Super and look nice. at this view the other way. It's like insane. Look at this. What a life. What a life. What a life. <laughs> bye bye. Sunset, but it doesn't look that good. Okay, so apparently the top is right up here. Woo. That was the bar. That was the bar. <laughs> we made it! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is our guide. She helped us climb up this beautiful, beautiful mountain. Oh, I love the sun disappeared. It's only park. Ready to go down? Yes, let's go through this park. I'm horrified about the way down, like the motorbike. <laughs> it's, oh, it's gonna be so dangerous. Still, it was so worth the drive. It's with sunset, yeah. and that was magical. All right, all right, all right. Good, Good morning. morning. It's a beautiful day. I feel That's like shit, but no more complaining. <laughs> I'm still going out for an adventure, even though I'm feeling a little bit sick, but that's okay. We are in paradise, so yeah. can't complain. Can't complain, really. So now we're heading down to the beach. Uh, we're going to see Do if we something can something very exciting. Yeah, see if we can find the sardines of uh, Malboal. Yeah, that's like the main attraction to do here in. Uh, hey guys! <laughs> it's like the main <laughs> attraction to do here in Malboal. It's called the Sardine Run. Yep. Uh, because there's supposed to be like thousands of sardines millions millions maybe yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it looks so awesome yeah. so we hope, hope we get to it. see them yeah uh, and then there's also a lot of turtles somewhere Fuck, we did search where we'll find out we asked the locals yeah. they know everything so let's go to the beach Excited. okay so i just saw a snake <laughs> a spider snake I thought just were like uh, like you're, a. You're just like no, it's just plastic, but it's a fucking snake. I'm gonna show you. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Going out in the water. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
After having experienced one of our best dives ever, our journey in Malwal was coming to an end. It's been over a week since we arrived in the Philippines. We finally feel that we are adapting to the culture and really have got to know the lifestyle around here. Cebu have shown us why so many people travel to the Philippines and why they love it so much. And before we leave for our next destination, there is still one adventure left. And this is going to be the most spectacular one. I'm excited. Hello. Canyoneering is an outdoor activity that involves both hiking, climbing, swimming and rappelling. And that's exactly what we wanted to try out. We are suited up. We're ready for our... I'm not ready, I think. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, here. I will take my... also picture. I will post this on my Facebook. The canyoneering in Cebu is so popular that it sometimes makes queues and waiting lines. That's why we woke up super early to have the river all for ourselves. The whole experience takes about 3 hours in total. We decided to book through our accommodation at Villa Alessandra and we paid around 2150 pesos per person. This includes guides, transportation to the start point and food at the end. actually very sad to leave. This was maybe the place we felt the most like home because we had a little kitchen, a little sitting room, TV. Oh, it's been very nice to stay here. So if you come to Moavua you should book at Villa Alessandra. It's very cheap. I think we paid around 30 euros per night and it's very high standard compared to other recommendations here in the area. So go here. And now our next destination is Oslo. Let's go! To get from Albual to Oslo, you have to take the Ceres bus liner to Batu. In Batu, you have to change bus to the one that's going towards Cebu and stop in Oslo. This costs 102 pesos with an air-conditioned bus and takes around one and a half hour. The buses leaves every half hour and there is not a set schedule. You just have to wait. This is the absolute cheapest way to get to Oslo. Other ways to get there are by renting a scooter, taking a tricycle or booking a taxi.
morning. Okay. Everybody. Wow. All right. Today is a special, special, special day because we are going to see the whale sharks in Cebu. And that's like one of the main attractions here. I think it's the main attraction. The actually. main attraction, yeah. So apparently there's like 10 whale sharks that lives uh, in the ocean just out of Oslo. So you pay, I think it's thousand pesos. pesos per person. And then you can, then they take you out in a boat and then you can snorkel with the whale sharks for 30 minutes. Yeah. But apparently it's like a lot of people, so <laughs> it's a bit of like an ethical question if it's like a good thing to go to. And you're not allowed to touch them? But still there's like 100 people in the water yeah. at the same time, so it happens, so it's, yeah. Gonna check it out. Yeah. And we are gonna go now. Bye-bye. Oh. Yes. We haven't really seen that many people on the island, but apparently everyone's here. <laughs> this is crazy. And the clock is around 7 in the morning. Oh. Wow. We ended up not joining the whale shark safari because of the ethical concerns. In Oslo, whale sharks are attracted to the area through the practice of feeding them. Local fishermen feed the whale sharks to ensure their presence for tourists. This alters a natural behavior of these animals and can have a long-term consequence for their health and well-being. We do believe there are other places in the world where you can have an encounter with the whale sharks in a much better and ethical way for the animals. This also ended up being our last stop for this trip in Cebu. So many memories created and after traveling around in this beautiful island, we have now witnessed a total different side of the Philippines. We would highly recommend visiting Cebu if you are down to an active and adventurous holiday. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out our other videos from the Philippines. See you in the next one!